Hi, welcome to another video tutorial looking at the Evidence for Learning app version 2.0. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can make a report and then export it. And so in this case we're going to make an ePortfolio for one of our students, Lucy Rainsford. And at this point we have already captured a handful of evidence for Lucy. So, from the menu, let's choose Make a Report. So, step one, we need to filter the evidence. So, only published evidence uh, can be included in a report, but we can also filter by dates, class, student and subject. So, let's take a quick look at those filters. So we've chosen Lucy and the next thing we need to choose is which order to sort the evidence by date or by subject. So let's choose subject and then let's look at the report settings. And we want to change the title of this report to ePortfolio. We can pick a template for the report and then choose other settings such as a separate PDF file for each student, whether to include a title page and we can change the font and we can add a footer and we can also change the page size to US letter or A4. And when we're done hit back and we're ready to make our PDF. So tap next and this screen is our final selection screen. We can use it to include or exclude individual pieces of evidence according to our preferences. Perhaps some evidence is not appropriate for this ePortfolio. Just tap to exclude and then tap to include. And when we're ready tap make PDF. And here's Lucy Rainsford's ePortfolio. It's got the evidence we've selected and it's using the report settings we've specified. And to export this document, tap the options on the top right and you can see we can export to Dropbox, Google Drive or via email and in fact other apps installed on this device. And to return to the document at a later time, from the menu choose All Reports, then pick your report from the list. And finally, just a quick note on report credits. So every time you make a report, you consume one credit. We give you some credits when you first download the app to evaluate the app and check it's suitable for your needs and you can purchase more report credits from the reports section in the menu. And for unlimited report credits, check out our school subscriptions. Well that concludes this tutorial and don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching and please share with your friends and colleagues.